So this is my kick spindle that um, that I built recently. I got most of the stuff at Lowe's. There's an oak dowel and um, a couple of pieces used for a bottom whorl and a top whorl. This one I cut um, out of some oak as well. So here you can see how I use it. I actually like to use it with my shoes on, although I always see people using it with their shoes off. It's probably to protect the wood, but um, I was thinking of painting the bottom world black anyway, so here we go. And you just kick it, stretch out your, draft out your fiber, sorry. You can kick it a few times to get some good spins on there. Once you have an arm's length full, you can stop it, wind it off there, and just load it up, and you're ready to go again. I probably wouldn't do lace weight on a kick spindle, but it's certainly good for worsted, or if you want to do thick and thin slubby yarn it would be good for that too it's kind of fun it's different than the drop spindle and the fact that you don't have gravity pulling your spindle away from you so if somebody's wanting to try spinning doesn't want to invest in a wheel and the drop spindle makes you a little nervous this is a good way to go too there's some beautiful ones out there as well Or you can make your own. There we go. And of course, as I'm spinning my single, the whirl is turning clockwise. And then when I go to ply it back on itself, I'll spin it the other way. I haven't actually plied on this yet, but I'm sure it will be fine. And if you want to have a close-up look at the kick spindle, there's just two pieces on the bottom I put for support to plank along the top. This, <laughs> this isn't the best design. I do have a bearing in here which helps it turn a bit more freely. You don't need one though. Um, and when I get more time I'm going to countersink all this stuff and get a better piece of wood for this part here. Um, and pretty it up a bit. I'll probably paint this black, maybe paint some sheep on it, and ready to go. So that's it.